How's it going guys? I decided to do a, a YouTube video today on uh, making Smashburger sliders. Um, there's been a few questions that I've gotten on whether this griddle top could make Smashburgers. I'm not quite sure why those questions came up, but it's just um, easier for me to, to show you guys. Um, let's see, the ingredients today or um, ground beef, this is 80-20. Um, this is about 2.8 to 3 ounces of ground beef. Um, obviously this one's a little smaller because this is what I had left over. Um, you're going to need some cheese. These are just regular uh, slices of cheese and I cut them up in fours. fours. Um, butter, I like to use butter uh, when cooking my my burgers it adds that buttery flavor it's really good and then a seasoning of your choice um, I'm gonna try this Freddy's frozen custard and steak burger seasoning never had it um, I, I bought it when I was in there me and my wife went to go get some ice cream and thought I'd give it a shot and then obviously you're gonna need uh, uh, burger sliders I bought these at uh, um, at Walmart these are the uh, Franz classic sliders um, you can wherever you able to pick those up and as far as the tools we're going to use the camp chef laptop grill and um, I uh, I have these to about medium medium high as you can it's hard to tell but it's in between medium and, and high on just the two zones and these two zones here I keep them out you know medium to medium low and this is what I'm going to be toasting my buns with but as far as the tools I'll be using today is I'll be using a little cover this is to uh, melt the cheese uh, just my regular grill scraper and uh, my hamburger spatula here um, I showed you in the accessory videos it has a nice little sharp edge on it my uh, smash and sear uh, mini slider tool and some parchment paper and I just cut these up into little pieces it makes it easier for for the beef not to stick in here it's even though it's a non-stick coating inside it's just a, a lot easier to clean and stuff but um, as soon as my uh, griddle gets hot enough I will go ahead and uh, start the process I'll probably only do one film one burger smashing and etc and then I'll turn the camera off and smash the rest of the burgers it's it's just difficult to do it all with a one hand so but all right guys uh, I'm gonna wait for this to heat up a little bit more and then we'll get back at it all right guys I think my uh, my, my griddle's about ready it's hard to see in this little GoPro all the steam coming up but um, I don't know if you could see that it says 416 here and 257 here I apologize if you can't see that um, and in the middle we're it's a uh, 317 closer and then it kind of goes to 450 425 so I'm gonna go ahead and get to smashing these burgers all right step one is I get a little pat of butter here it's just a little piece and throw it right on the flat top then I grab a, a little ball slider put it right on top parchment paper slider tool and just smash and holds it for five ten seconds or so I don't there's no real specific time and then pull the parchment paper off and you got a perfect slider all right I'm gonna turn this off but I'm gonna go ahead and smash the rest of these and I'll be right back all right guys I went ahead and smashed the rest of these um, this one I had to smash by hand because um there isn't enough meat for the slider to work, so I'm just going to go ahead and season the top of these. I typically only season one side, to be honest, so it's okay if you, you pack it down here. Okay. And um, I don't know if you guys noticed here, I only actually used one thing of parchment paper. Um, it was it was still usable so I didn't there's no need to use these but I'll go ahead and uh, wait for these burgers to, to brown up about halfway through on the side here it's real hard to tell on this camera but um, as soon as they brown up I'll go ahead and give them a flip and then I'll, I'll get back with you all right guys um, apologize for the lighting I don't know if you could see this but um, the burgers are 
cooked more than halfway through and I'm getting ready to, to flip them. I'll go ahead and just flip one on camera and then I'll do the rest off. But typically I like to grab my burger flipper and flip it upside down. Give it a nice scrape. And it will just flip right over. And I don't know if you can see, but that's some, some gorgeous crust on that burger. Um, I'll do another one here. This is a smaller one. And they just have some gorgeous crusting on it. But um, I'll go ahead and get the rest of these flips and we'll be right back. Alright guys, I went ahead and got all these flips. And what I went ahead and did is I uh, moved them to the middle here. And the reason I did that is because I want my cover to be able to cover all of this when it's time to, to put the cheese on. So I won't have to use multiple covers and, and uh, dirty up more more dishes than I than I have to. But as you can see, those, those things have amazing crust on them. So I'll... Uh, let these cook just for about a minute longer and then I'll, I'll top them with cheese. Alright guys, I think we're about ready for cheese here. So I usually put about two of these slices, depending on how big they are, of cheese on each one. And then, let's take my cover here and cover the burgers until the cheese is all nice and melted. And what I'll do now is turn these knobs to low and I'll stick these buns to toast them for a second on here. I like to keep them closest to this edge because that's not as hot as the rest of the grill and I don't want to burn these. So. And one more, I'll stick back here. I'm just gonna see nice golden brown. They toast pretty quickly. So. Alright guys, well, I'm gonna let these burgers finish up. You can see how how quickly they they melt with this topper here. But um I'm going to go ahead and finish toasting these up and finishing this cheese off and then I'll, I'll be back inside here. Alright guys, I brought them all in and this is what they turned out to. You can see the juices pouring out of them, but I'll go ahead and make one for you guys. Um, take the bun and I just put a little mayo on it. And then I grab one of my sliders here, stick it right on top. I like a little bit of onion. This is a white onion here. And then a little bit of lettuce. And I didn't feel like cutting any up or, or anything. And then I just put a little lettuce right on top. Nothing fancy. You can zoom out so you're not so close. And one of these cloths and pickles. Like a, cut it in half. Stick it right on top. And fold it in within itself. And then put a little Q-tip on it. That's how you make little mini sliders. Alright, thanks guys.